let's see how long that takes. Hmm? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the ghost town. What the fo- Sorry. <laughs> what I, um, I was actually retaking this. So you saw it directly after the, f after Zoe was after the fence, but it's now five minutes later. Uh, Zoe, Anika, Anika. So, good afternoon, everybody. Zoe, welcome to another vlog. Zoe, Anika. Andeka. Zoe. <sighs> I think she's planning on going out straight again. I caught her in the middle of the act. You're busted. Really? Really, Zoe? Get your paws off the wall. Down. Down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Now. Okay, so uh, we need to drill some more holes here. You were just busted. So I realized uh, I uh, neglected in the last video to tell you uh, what I was actually doing. <laughs> uh, so you see me uh, take off all the old rafters and put in all these nice new rafters. Although the other ones were new also a couple of weeks ago. Um, so as you may remember from former videos, we had um, this brick extending to here like an overhang and the bird's mouth was actually on the part of the overhang so yeah that's not ideal so I cut now back the overhang along the whole house and put in new beams with a, a new bird's mouth in a different place and now the variation is in uh, the depth of the overhang like it is on the other side of the house. So I got me this nice level line here. All very straight on the line. So uh, what we still need to do here is I need to uh, fill this in. And then I'm going to anchor this. Drill a hole here and... Uh, Put something in while the cement is still um, not dried, so it can dry with the probably a bolt or something I'm going to put in there. So we need to fill these all up from this side. And then here it's like on the other side, well I'm going to fill this off like that. Um, but here, uh, like I want to try on this side also. I want to try um, opening this up a little, putting in cement, and then also anchoring it uh, with a bolt in there for this section. And that's also what uh, I'm probably going to do on the other side. 
but we'll test it here first. And this needs to be uh, smoothened off. So yeah, that's uh, some work that needs to be done. Uh, and then I still need to continue with um, with upping the wall here to uh, match the height of the, um, of the rafters. I only did one wall yet, so I have uh, three more to go. These are the old rafters. Uh, that's a uh, learning tuition. Uh, 360 euro learning tuition. Um, that's not exactly true because I can use these rafters still for a lot of other things. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it probably for the, um, the roof of the porch. But we'll see. <laughs> There's still a good, what is it, 3 meter 30, 40 to use. So, can do a lot with that. Zoe. Good foggy morning from the ghost town. It's been uh, raining for the last couple of days. Today is very misty. Well, it's only eight o'clock, so it'll clear up in a, in an hour or so, maybe two. So yeah, I um, haven't been able to do much work on the roof, but I'll show you when I get back. Uh, there was some work done though. <laughs> this is uh, Zoe's uh, morning walk. And my morning walk. I think it needed more for my health than for her health. <laughs> Who put all this rubble on my land? <laughs> That's mine, of course. Zoe is getting more uh, adjusted to me because now she waits everywhere if I don't move fast enough. Before she would just run off by herself. So she's keeping an eye on me. That's good. Featured in next year's restoration. <laughs> Probably. My tiny house. Let's walk this dog. Oh, no. Let's walk myself. <laughs> Zoe procura um javali. Procura um javali? Zoe! Come! What are you smelling? Hey, who lives there? We do. <laughs> Come on, babe.
Somebody's been trying to make a web here. <laughs> Funny. Going up. I won't film too much because of the heavy, heavy breathing. Maybe I should put in some music. Zoe! Even when I'm slipping on these rocky roads and make a noise, Zoe looks around. You okay? You're a real guard dog. That's my village again. So actually we did uh, like um, a path around the, the valley. So this is the valley. And um, my house is uh, on the top. Well, not on the top, but on the top of the town. <laughs> and then you go around like this. And you come back on this side. Hmm. Zoe! Zoe! Well, I bought her a GPS tracker, so I'm not that worried. Um, but normally she uh, waits at every intersection. And then if she has an idea where she wants to go, she waits a little past the intersection on the path we need to take. So I expected her to sit there. Like yesterday. But no. Zoe! I think she's already back in the town. Let's see. I must say, my heavy breathing is uh, getting a little bit better after the first week of walks. <laughs> Still got a long way to go though. So this walk uh, takes you around. Ooh. <laughs> Here 
there's my house. This walk takes you around like half on this mountain. And then come back here. I think it's about 2.6 kilometers. Uh, but it's got some uh, steep inclines. It's good for the ass muscles. Yesterday it took me a little less than 40 minutes. Yeah, let's see if we can improve on that. Although the mist, it's a beautiful day today. Let's see if we can do some more work on the house now that there's no more rain. At least the predictions give no more rain. Zoe! 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 Okay, so maybe the walk wasn't long enough for Zoe. <laughs> well, it went good for uh, 2.5 miles. <laughs> Where's Zoe? Let's see the tracker. There she is. Breakfast? You want some breakfast? Let's have some breakfast. <laughs> she did a lot more walking. <laughs> she did a lot more miles than me. Kilometers. Did I say miles before? 2.6 kilometers. Bon appétit to me. So, to give you a small update on the Zoe Houdini situation. Did you call my name? <laughs> oh, she's so funny sometimes. When I'm, uh, I'll show you next time. When I'm editing the video and I, in the video I call Zoe. And then every time she comes to me. <laughs> because she hears it in the video. <laughs> ah. So uh, <laughs> you saw that uh, she was still getting out there, where I caught her, red-handed. Um, I put in some extra holes, yeah, and I don't think she can go anywhere here anymore. <laughs> so yesterday evening I was working on the, in the shed on the other side of the road to get it more organized. I'm going to show you that in the next video, it's coming together nicely. Uh, the first time uh, I walked back here to get some stuff, uh, I missed Zoe. And I put her back uh, after I found her with the GPS tracker. She was just down the road. Uh, she came right back after I called her, so I put her back behind the gate. And then I gathered some stuff and what was I doing? Maybe having a quick sip of coffee here. And I saw that by behind the pool here, she was trying to get out. So I caught her a second time. Uh, closed all this side off also 
And after that yesterday, I spent about three more hours working in the shed while she was stuck here on the land and she didn't escape. <laughs> so uh, I call that a win for now. She'll probably start trying more, but <laughs> I felt a small victory after spending, well, excluding the new fence, maybe also four hours in other parts of the land to make it Zoe proof. Um, one last thing I want to uh, show you what I did yesterday. Uh, as I said, it's been raining a lot, so I couldn't do uh, do much, but I um, this whole side is now um, anchored. Yeah, the wood was a little wet, so <laughs> I need to uh, cut that off. But um, yeah, so I anchored them uh, in. Here I filled all this off from the front. And where it's uh, supporting, I uh, filled in the whole brick. Uh, where it's not supporting, I just uh, covered it. And so, yeah, what I did is I opened it up on the top. And with these, I could um, fill it in from the front. But uh, with these, yeah, they're laid... Uh, in a different angle. <laughs> uh, I opened it up and uh, I pushed uh, a little bit the uh, left, right, up, down, and then uh, cemented it in. So yeah, this side is uh, done. Uh, the securing. Uh, next video, I'll show you a little bit more in detail when I'm doing the other side. Yeah, so also in the next video, I'll show you what I'm uh, doing in the shed. Um, I do need to have uh, electricity in the shed. I'm now running a wire here uh, on the floor. Uh, over the street, but that's not ideal. It's already um, it's been there for maybe four days. And yeah, like the garbage guys and stuff, everybody drives over it. Everybody that comes to my ghost town. It's actually <laughs> quite some cars because yeah, the family that comes here, they also come like once or twice. And Paolo and uh, the post office guy and uh, yeah. Um, so I actually uh, I would like to run a wire um, ooh, through the air, and I think I'm gonna run it from here. Poof. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> um. So hope you enjoyed the. The Sunday vlog today. Yeah, I'm gonna edit out the rest of the video, and maybe I have some more time to uh, to start on the other side, or maybe I will do the last things uh, in reorganizing the shed. I don't know. It's all up to me here, my empty, abandoned town. Um, if you like my video, like my video. If you like my channel, maybe take a subscription. And I'll see you all in the next vlog. Uh, let me get Zoe to say goodbye. Where's Zoe? Zoe! Zoe, you want to say goodbye to everybody? You want to say goodbye? <sighs> say bye, lovely people from the YouTube. Uh, I couldn't care less, huh? Um, oh yeah. Uh, full jump. I neglected uh, the full jump in the last video. But yeah, it's uh, getting colder in Portugal, so I don't know how much longer we can do this pool jump, guys. I, uh, well, I could try uh, Wim Hof method, of course. Uh, maybe also do it when there's ice on it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna maintain this pool in the winter. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, Wow, uh, I think it's this cold. Makes you, uh, uh, makes me have second thoughts about the pool jump. Yeah, 
I don't have to ask what you guys think, right? <laughs> Jump in the pool already, man. So I've been delaying this pool jump for long enough now. I edited the whole video already. Except I'm still missing the pool jump. What the fuck is... What the... What is this guy doing? Looks a whole lot different from up here. <laughs> Did you see that, Zoe? <laughs> Stupid human. <laughs> what are you doing? Come in the pool! Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.